Let's talk about the most overrated hair products on the market. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. Oh my. I'm who? I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I will be doing top 5 most overrated hair products on the market in my opinion. So, if you want to find out what products I think are overrated, they're a waste of money and they're actually not that good, then you better keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we are doing top 5 overrated hair products on the market. And the whole idea behind this film is, it's all about products that are good and they're so overrated, like they're good products but they're so overrated everyone uses them and no one is really getting the result they want because they're so overrated, they're a trend and as we all know we do not like trends because trends don't work for everyone and one shoe does not fit also something that might work for you may not work for you so you guys I have here five products that are way overrated those products that I got feedback on from my client products that I used myself and I wasn't too impressed with products I've used on my clients and overall products that are just viral and overrated so you guys starting off with first overrated product color wow dream filter when it comes to color wow dream filter I think this product is so so overhyped and overrated it was all over Instagram TikTok it was all over everywhere and this product was meant to remove minerals from your hair like that I did review this product on my channel along the side with other color wow hair products and you guys this product didn't really do much to my hair I definitely think this product is so overrated and as you all know I do live in Ireland and the water in Ireland is septic so I don't know if color wow is made for a very very softly hard water than like a proper hard water because it did not do anything to my hair it did not do anything to clients of mine I had clients using the dream filter because their water was so hard and the hair just felt meh but it literally didn't do anything because I like that product is it's a good concept it's a good idea but the execution of the actual product is not there and it didn't remove any hard water. However, I do think if you're using something else for hard water, it, there's no harm of using this product. But this product is not a dream filter magic in a bottle that will just magically remove all the minerals from your hair because it does not. Moroccan oil shampoos. Now you guys, if you know me, if you've watched me, you know that I'm not a fan of Moroccan oil shampoos. However, we do stock them in the shop that I work in. But I despise and I absolutely despise Moroccan oil hair shampoos. I wouldn't wash my dog with it. I think they're so overhyped, overrated and they're a huge waste to money. The scent, the actual texture of the product and the range. I mean, at the moment you have the purple shampoo which is all right. You have the hydrated, repair, smooth and like it's just a, such a small range of shampoos and I just stay clear from it. The only good shampoo out of the whole range in Moroccan oil is probably the clarifying shampoo and it is very hard to get and I think it's actually out of stock at the moment but the rest of the shampoos they are a muck. The hair feels disgusting afterwards. It's too heavy. However, the Moroccan oil shampoos are good for a certain type of hair but it's not good for everyone. And that's the thing, it's not good for everyone. It is very much for a specific client and they will work fine. But the smell, the texture and everything about that shampoo is a muck. I think they should be just burned on a steak. For some of you, the next overrated hair product or should I say products would be a shock. But this is Olaplex shampoo and a conditioner. Guys, I've been asked a million times about Olaplex to review it on my channel, to review the shampoos. But I want, why? Re listen to... Well, Let's talk about it. Hear me out on Olaplex. Olaplex was launched as a bond strengthening system for colorists and for hairdressers and it was magical and it is still and I can't take that away from Olaplex. What Olaplex does when it's added to a hair color or a lightening product is amazing. And do you know what? I wish Olaplex just stated that. Because what they do for hair color is like that. They are bond strengthening system. So it repairs the bonds in the hair while your hair is being colored. Which means it will minimize the oxidization stress on your hair. Meaning your hair will be less damaged during coloring. Now when it comes to shampoos and the conditioners. I don't think it's a bad product at all. However, like I said, 
one shoe does not fit all and I've seen it in my chair and clients had different hair concerns their hair was falling out their hair was dry their hair was damaged and they were all saying to me well I even got the Olaplex shampoo and the conditioner no 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 right Olaplex is good for what it does so if you had an Olaplex treatment in the salon right maintain it with the shampoo and the conditioner but don't think that Olaplex is just gonna fix your hair. It's not a magic in the bottle, it's not a holy water. That shampoo and the conditioner will not get rid of every of your hair concern within the use. Do you know what I mean? The shampoo and the conditioner is good like that if you want to maintain Olaplex in your hair, but if your hair is dry and you think you're gonna buy this shampoo and buy this conditioner and it's gonna do magic and your hair will be beautiful, you are lying to yourself because as we all know, Instagram is not real life. And like that, if you have certain hair concerns, yeah, it might be good, but if your concerns are different, you need to look into different hair care products. So yeah, overall, I think Olaplex is overrated, it's overpriced and yeah, like one shoe does not fit all and it will not fix every single hair problem on the planet. The next overrated hair product is probably one of the worst ones on the market and I think they should just stop doing what they're doing. And that product is Batiste Dry Shampoo. If you watch me and you probably have or if you haven't, you know that I'm not a big fan of dry shampoo and yet I have to, probably the only good dry shampoo that I've ever used was the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo but overall I think Batiste is horrible. Right, it's so overrated, it's so, everyone just thinks that it's gonna fix, but one, it builds up on your hair, it leaves the residue, it does not smell nice, it does not refresh your hair, and I think it actually worsened the problem. They have all those different volumizing ones from blonde hair, brown hair, it's all a muck and a hay put dirt. And like that, I would love to see a dry shampoo that actually works like a dry shampoo, but when it comes to Batiste, I think it actually gives a tacky, horrible smell to your hair. It builds up on the hair, it's very hard to get rid of it out of the hair, it clogs the pores, and it just does everything that a dry shampoo shouldn't do to your hair. And like that, it's just so overrated and overhyped, and there's nothing special about it, because you can pick up any other dry shampoo that could be probably cheaper or even more expensive one, and it will do Probably the same thing or if not better than Batiste, but overall I think Batiste is just a muck. Right you guys, the next and the last overhyped products on the hair market, and I'm saying products because there's few of them, are Kevin Murphy shampoos. Guys, Kevin Murphy is no stranger to this channel and there's no lie, I do love Kevin Murphy styling products. They are the bomb. But however, when it comes to Kevin Murphy shampoos, I think they're so overrated and overhyped and I've given Kevin Murphy a go and it just did not work for me. And from experience and from talking to people, talking to other stylists, talking to customers, like that, it was all about the hype. So people were like, right, I'm gonna buy Kevin Murphy because it's the god of hair care. And they've used it and do you know what? It worked for some of them, it didn't work for some of them. I'd say one out of five people will love Kevin Murphy and the product will work. For the other four people, that shampoo will just do nothing. For my hair, I just, I was very let down by Kevin Murphy shampoos. Like they were nice shampoos, but for the hype that people build up about those shampoos, I didn't think it was anything amazing. And I think they're just overly hype. However, what I must say about Kevin Murphy is that their styling products are one of the best ones and they are uh, amazing. When it comes to overrated and overhyped hair products, there isn't that many on the market. But when it comes to Color Wow Dream Filter, I think like, I mean, guys, I want this product to work, but it doesn't work, really. Like, it might remove some of it, but it actually doesn't give you the result that I would love to give it. And when it comes to Moroccan oil shampoos, they're just muck. I wouldn't wash my dog with it. I probably wouldn't even wash my body with it if I could. The scent, the texture, anything about it, the range. And then we have Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Olaplex as a brand, they are doing magic to your hair. However, the shampoo and the conditioner is so overhyped and overrated and one shoe does not fit all. So if you're using Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and you're finding it doesn't really do too much to your hair, that's because probably it's not the right shampoo and a conditioner for your hair and it will not fix every single pro problem on the earth. But these dry shampoo is just a name and people are using it. I don't know why, they need to stop using and doing what they're doing because I think there's so many other dry shampoos that will do exactly the same thing whether it's Boots One Your Dry Shampoo or the one from Pennies it will probably do 
nearly better job than Batiste. And then we have Kevin Murphy. Kevin Murphy has a brand I love it. However, the shampoos are so overrated, overhyped, and overpriced, and they are not for everyone. And like I said, you guys, those are overrated and overhyped products, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful, and useful. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. And of course, you guys, please, please, please do take care. Bye.